Hey everybody, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a requested video for you. Many of you have asked me to talk about my most favorite niche perfumes that I've ever smelled. Most of them are bottles, but I do have a few that are smaller sizes and travel sizes and decants because I don't own the bottle of them yet. In any case, I think these are all fantastic. I recommend them highly if you haven't already tested them. And I also should mention that in this list, I won't be including the exclusive collections of designer houses. I'll probably do that in a separate video. So these ones are just niche perfumes. And yeah, let's begin. The first one here, you can see that I'm holding a bottle of Casamirati Zerjoff Lira Eau de Parfum. This is a very, very popular scent in the community. I do have a small little 30 ml bottle of this. They do come also in a big 100 ml bottle with a tassel that kind of hangs um, from the side here. Uh, but yeah, I'm okay with the small little 30 ml bottles. This one to me is one of my most favorite caramel scents. It is a very spicy, sweet, vanilla, caramel, cinnamony kind of scent. It does make me think of gingerbread or spicy vanilla cookies. It's very delicious. It's very cozy and warm. But I do think that you can also wear this in the summertime because it doesn't ever feel cloying or too heavy. It doesn't really choke me out even when it's really hot outside. So yeah, this one is a very versatile, year-round, delicious gourmand scent. And I can't imagine not ever owning this one in my collection. Next up, we have another gourmand scent here, and it's from the house of Serge Luton's. I do have an old bottle of the scent. I'm not sure if it's even still available, but this is my favorite from the entire house. It's called Jeu de Peau. Translated, it means in French, skin games, I believe. I'm not really sure what that even supposed to mean, <laughs> but anyways, the scent of this is absolutely delicious. To me, it's a sweet, warm, and cozy, bready scent. It smells like a bakery full of baked goods, buttered bread, coconut bread, maybe some licorice in there as well. It is very thick and I think that this would be most appropriate only in the winter time or when it's cold out because over spraying this is kind of dangerous in my opinion because I have worn this in the summertime and it was choking me out and I felt overwhelmed by it but in colder temperatures it's perfect it's delicious it's a bakery and all of the smells the bready smells the sweetness everything about this is just amazing and yummy so Je de Peau Serge Luton's hopefully it's still available but yeah, this is definitely one of my most favorite niche scents that I own. The next one here we, is also one from the Zerjoff collection, but it's from the Join the Club collection, JTC. This is an older bottle of Ivory Root. They have changed the bottle designs. I have the old version here. And you can probably tell that it's starting to look kind of funky on the bottle here so i'm not really sure how or why that's happening uh, i do store my bottles in a cool and dark place so not really sure <laughs> why it's doing that but in any case this is i think an underrated scent for sure this is a vanilla scent that has beautiful notes of sandalwood vanilla spices I'm not sure exactly what the notes are, but that's what I pick up when I wear this. It's a very sexy, smoky, sweet vanilla incense spice with a creamy sandalwood or woodiness. And yeah, this is just amazing. I have discovered this one early on in my journey many, many years ago. 
And yeah, I still love this one, even though I don't really talk about it as much as I used to. I'm still in love with this sexy vanilla spicy scent. So I have another little decant here that I don't own the bottle of yet. This is from the house of Liquid Imaginaires and it's called Blanche Bet. And I have talked a lot about this scent on my channel in the past year. So this one is probably my most favorite niche discovery this year. This one is a gourmand, milky, sweet, lactonic, coconutty, white chocolate scent. There's also a gorgeous muskiness that I pick up in here that just makes me feel very relaxed. This scent is therapeutic to me. I do spray this on sometimes before bedtime and then it just kind of puts me in a state where I just want to relax and calm down and then wind down for the evening. So yeah, I will definitely get a bottle of this at some point. I mean, this one I only spray like once or twice at a time because it's not something that I think that I would like to overspray. It feels like one or two sprays is enough with this scent just to get a nice, soft, long-lasting scent of coconut milk and white chocolate and probably some vanilla as well. So that's Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaires, probably my most favorite from the house as well. Okay, so moving on to the next one. This one here I have talked so much about on my channel over the years. This one is called Enchanted Forest by the Vagabond Prince. And I love the bottle here. It is so, so stunning. There's a swan there and a moon. And it is a very heavy bottle. So this one here is my Holy Grail Black Currant scent. This one is very juicy and realistic. The black currant in here is so delicious and sweet. And you also get a green feeling in here as well. And then you also have the leaves still attached to the branches, which are attached to the black currants. Mm, very transportive, yummy. Oh, I love this one so much. <laughs> Yeah, this is another one that I can't imagine not owning in my collection. It's for me a must have and I really, really enjoy this scent. Also, just looking and holding the bottle kind of just puts me in a certain mood and then spraying it on and wearing it makes me feel like a forest princess <laughs> just walking through the forest and picking some black currants. Okay, so let's move on to another one that I don't own the bottle of. I just have a small, it's not even a travel size, it's like a deluxe sample. This one is from the house of Frederick Mall, and it's called Musk Ravager. So this one is by Maurice Roussel. I don't know why I haven't bought a bottle of this yet. <laughs> I think this is so, so good. When I first tried it, I was unsure about it. It is a very challenging scent, but just over the years when I've been testing it, I've gone through many, many samples of this scent. Uh, I just have fallen in love with this one more and more as time went by. You get a spicy clove cinnamon vibe in here with some vanilla and musk. I love how the musk grows as it dries down. It feels like the musk kind of just gets bigger and bigger on your skin and it kind of makes an aura around you. So even though, as I said earlier, it's kind of challenging to wear, I think also that it's one of the best niche perfumes out there and probably the best from the house of Frederick Mall. All right, so let's move on. The next one we have here is one that is very, very popular as well in the community. This is Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirkshawn Paris. It's the Eau de Parfum version. I also really enjoy the x version, but if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the original EDP 
this one was a love at first sniff for me it's also one of my most complimented scents that i own and i don't really get that many compliments to be honest <laughs> but i have gotten some from this one so this one here is a very sweet sparkling sugary warm spicy amber scent there's a lot of things going on in here i know that some people get some latex or they have said that it smells metallic or like a hospital luckily for me i don't get those vibes and i do get a nice sparkling bright sweetness from the scent that really does smell amazing i have smelled the scent or at least something that smells like 540 recently on many people in public so it is getting more and more popular but whenever i do smell it on someone else i do a double take because i just love it so much it's also one of the best performing scents that i own it lasts very very long on skin and on clothing and yeah it's just a very special scent that is definitely a 10 out of 10 masterpiece in my opinion i get why it's like on the top list of everything almost it feels like and i get why it's getting duped so much uh, but yeah this is an amazing amazing scent that is one of my absolute favorites next up we have a scent here that is just a travel size that i own i actually own two of these travel sizes um haven't gone for the bottle yet i probably should do I'm kind of just waiting to see it on sale, but I haven't seen it on sale anywhere yet. Uh, in any case, this is Floraiku, one umbrella for two. That's what it looks like. It's an eau de parfum, and it's part of the Secret Teas and Spices collection. So this one basically smells like blueberry muffins. I have talked a lot about this one. On my channel in the past it's one of my most favorite gourmands it's probably the best blueberry scent that i've ever smelled it's very warm and cozy you can wear it year round it is just so so delicious and it makes me just think of baking blueberry muffins in the kitchen and then you just close all of the windows and trap all of that blueberry muffin scent goodness inside of the house yeah, this is just so realistic and literal and hopefully this coming year is when I'll finally get a bottle of it because I think it's long overdue. And last but not least, we have Amouage Sunshine for Women. This is one that I have been talking about so much on my channel over the years. It's one that I discovered very early on in my niche perfume journey. Basically what this smells like to me is an apricot jam or apricot pastries there's osmanthus listed in the notes in sunshine and osmanthus does kind of give off a peachy or apricotty kind of scent and i definitely picked that up in here it's very sweet jammy delicious cozy warm spicy it's everything that i look for in a perfume and whenever i wear this i feel super special it makes me feel good it puts me in a good mood this is just an amazing amazing scent that i just think is perfect and it's definitely a 10 out of 10 masterpiece perfume in my opinion so yeah that was my list of 10 perfect 10 out of 10 perfumes niche perfumes that i've smelled i would love to hear what you guys think about these scents in the comments also which fragrances would you consider 10 out of 10 niche perfumes i would love to hear about those as well thank you so much for tuning in today and i'll see you guys soon in the next video take care guys Bye bye